On the evening of Wednesday, the American Chamber of Commerce in Southwest China held the American Business in China 2021 White Paper Release Event for its Chongqing chapter at the Radisson Blue Plaza Chongqing Hotel. The American Business in China 2021 White Paper serves as an overview of the foreign companies' operating environment in China. At the release event. Chongqing-based enterprise contributors spoke on behalf of the manufacturing, hospitality, education, professional services, finance, and legal industries, and sharing their insights into the greatest business challenges of 2021, key features of the Southwest Chinese economy, and their interpretations of recent trends in business and business policy. Chongqing,、uh, when you think about manufacturing, is two industries. It's automotive and electronics. Of course, there are other industries in Chongqing, but those are the two big industries. Why is it so big? Because headquarters of multinational companies have their headquarters here in Chongqing. Automotive, you have Chang'an. Their headquarters is in Chongqing. Chang'an Ford, Ford, their headquarters is in Chongqing. This is huge for Chongqing because if you look at Chengdu, Chengdu has a lot of automotive companies, but they don't. Their automotive companies don't have headquarters there.、Uh, so the beauty of this for Chongqing is because you have these huge companies with headquarters here in Chongqing, it's very great for the supply chain. You have、uh, their supply chain companies investing here,、uh, trying to to be a supplier to,、uh, to you know to Chang'an to to Chang'an Ford. But as well as other、uh, automotive companies here too. And besides those two companies, I can mention many others. You have、uh, Great Wall; they just set up a com-、uh, factory out in Yongchuan.、Uh, and as well as you have Hyundai, Hyundai here, the Korean company. And so it's been very great for the automotive sector. Of course, there are challenges.、Uh, the challenges are that、uh, they have to develop、uh, successful electric vehicles because that's the future of Ford Chongqing.、Uh, that's the automotive. Electronics.、Uh, electronics is basically was defined with HP. HP makes all the notebooks and、uh, the laptops, and it's they contract with Foxconn out in、uh, Xi'an and Shangba. And with that, you have a, a whole ecosystem of electronic companies here that make cell phones.、Uh, you're making uh, PCB uh, circuit boards, and now semiconductors as well. So、uh, those are the two exciting industries. Of course, there's many others, but I would say those are the two that,、uh, when you think about manufacturing Chongqing, that's what defines the city. For us,、uh, with Chongqing specifically,、uh, you know, there's a lot of excitement being here in, in Southwest China. You have、uh, a lot of companies that find that Chongqing is, you know, a better place to operate. You know,、uh, you know, maybe. Originally, they had a factory in Guangdong or a factory in Jiangsu, but now,、uh, you know, having operated that factory for 20, 25 years,、uh, they find that they're ready to build a new factory that's more competitive. And what、uh, Chongqing and Southwest China offer are a lot of very great things. They have、uh, lower labor.、Uh, two, they have lower gas prices, natural gas prices. This is a big, a big reason why a lot of factories come here. And three, you know, you have the market here. You, you have a market of almost 300 million people in Southwest China. So, you know, I, I think. Plus, you know, there, there's other things. You have the,、uh, the a railroad to Europe、uh, that people are interested in of shipping goods here out to、uh, to Europe as well. So I think there's a lot of、uh, positive elements why people would want to invest more in Chongqing. Now, if you're a manufacturing, that's where I think Chongqing. Can still、uh, outcompete in those cities now, and so that's why I still think that,、uh, especially in the automotive space,、uh, you you have a you know the automotive car is now being combined with the phone. You know you you have Apple companies like Apple, Huawei, Xiaomi, 
They originally just made phones, now they want to get into the automotive space. And I think that's exactly where Chongqing can really be, have, uh, you know, succeed and find a lot of success is because they can attract, uh, they can merge the cell phone manufacturers and the automotive uh, manufacturers together. And being in a, a low cost, uh, a low cost uh, area with uh, cheap employment or cheaper employment than the East Coast, as well as energy prices, I think it, there's a lot of opportunity for Chongqing in that way. And so even though it can't attract the services compared to the, the, the coastal, I think it first should focus on, on what it does best, and that's manufacturing.